We pity your pathetic dependence on this web video for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says it has found high levels of radioactive cesium in groundwater in the compound. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say a recent typhoon may be the cause. There are about 40 monitoring wells around the reactor buildings. TEPCO officials say water taken on Wednesday from a well had 460,000 becquerels of cesium per litre. Water from another well contained 424,000 becquerels. Officials say those levels are 800 to 900 times the previous peak. The wells are several metres west of the number two reactor building. TEPCO engineers began pumping up groundwater from the wells on a trial basis in August. They started full-scale operations last week but they've stopped pumping water from the two wells to trace the source of the radioactivity. The utility plans to treat the tainted groundwater and discharge it into the ocean, but local people strongly oppose the plan. One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. Japan's nuclear regulator has been considering implementing worker screenings to prevent terrorism. That proposal will likely be shelved and facility operators will be responsible for background checks on workers at nuclear plants. A panel of the Nuclear Regulation Authority has been studying the logistics of checking the personal information of workers, including criminal records held by the government and financial debt. But the panel concluded that a framework to vet such information would require revisions to current laws and careful planning. Panel members agreed that the utility companies that operate nuclear power plants should run background checks based on voluntary statements from workers. Some members pointed out the limitations of such a system. The panel is planning to study which items will be declared by workers and submit a proposal to the Nuclear Regulation Authority as early as January. And in a surprise announcement this morning, U.S. Deputy Surgeon General Greg Paulson stated that, quote, it's fine to smoke cigarettes if you only smoke while drinking. After Chernobyl, we finally hear All kinds of cancer went up the next year Hard to interpret, says OPCS Can't understand it, well here is a guess Low-level isotopes from the Ukraine Drifted to Wales on the wind and the rain Rainfall is higher in Bangor than Kent. Cancer in Wales is up 30%. We're breathing strontium, locking it into the structure of cellular DNA. And each beta decay in an occasional, rather mutational way kills us. Even new labor can see what it means. Radioisotopes alter your genes. Ghosts of dead babies will give them no rest till the dosimetry has been reassessed. Wombling, strombling, banker to Kent, telling the news of the second event, telling the story all and two scenes. A radioisotopes alter your genes. Nuclear establishment, castle of lies. Children are dying in front of your eyes Born with no limbs, with two heads or no brain Born to a life of incurable pain Nuclear subsidies victims will pay While you take a pension and tiptoe away Don't reassure us, cause we always knew Yours was a story too slick to be true Well, breathing strontium Locking it into the structure of cellular DNA and each a beta decay in an occasional, rather mutational way kills us. Nobody's hiding these nuclear crooks. Government stooges aren't cooking the books. Only the mothers are guilty of crimes, bearing their children in nuclear times. Radioisotopes float around free, up in the atmosphere, up near the sea. So many diseases genetically linked, strontium wombles will soon be extinct. Cause we're breathing strontium, locking it into the structure of cellular DNA. And each beat of decay in an occasional, rather mutational way.
Congratulations, you have completed this video with flying colors. Please await your certificate and complimentary fruit basket in the mail before proceeding any further.